Hello, chicken nuggets. It's the end of the year again. Which means that you get the pleasure of sitting here and listening to me talk about what my most carried EDC gear is. How exciting. So, like I said, this is going to be the video talking about what my most carried EDC gear is of 2023. This is all stuff that I've tried and tested thoroughly and I've decided that it makes my life easier and it belongs on my person with me pretty much every single day unless I get bored and my fancy switches and something out. But for the majority of the time, this is all stuff that I've carried for the majority of this year. I'm trying to grow my moustache out and it just keeps going in my mouth and it's pissing me off. It was longer the other day, but I've like trimmed it. And you don't care. First thing we're going to talk about on this list is the obvious thing that everyone wants to know. What is Ted's most carried EDC knife of 2023? There's kind of two. I'm not gonna lie, but one of them's kind of unrealistic to like recommend to people. So I thought there is another one. So I'm just gonna tell you both. The first one that's unrealistic, I'm not gonna go too far into it, but it's a knife made by my good friend, Rowan Morris. This is the Armour Squirrel. Look at that for a knife. The reason that I say this is kind of unrealistic is it's very expensive, it's custom. They go for like a minimum, I think, of like a grand. I was lucky enough that Ryan's one of my good friends, so he gifted me this knife. And honestly, when I've had the chance to carry this, I've carried it basically every single day because it's insane. I think I did a video talking about this knife a bit more a few months ago. So if you want to know a bit more about the specs, head over to the video. I'll try and link it here if I remember it. But if not, then just go and watch all my videos and then you'll find it eventually. That's a good idea, isn't it? And then subscribe. But sick knife, titanium scales, 3V core blade steel, and it's an absolute monster. But that's not the knife I'm gonna be talking about. The knife I wanna to talk to you guys about, which is one that's realistic, which I genuinely think in terms of price for what you get from the knife is possibly my perfect EEC knife. And that is the Spyderco Paramilitary 3. If I haven't been carrying the Armour Squirrel, this knife is the knife that seemed to have made its way into my pocket majority of the year. It's literally just a standard paramilitary three, S30V blade steel, G10 scales, no extreme bells and whistles. It's just a para three and I absolutely love it. That's all I have to say. They're about 175 bucks. That's how much I paid for this and they are absolutely fantastic. You could probably use this video as a bit of a gift guide, to be honest with you. Some of the stuff's expensive, like obviously that knife's expensive and this isn't exactly cheap. Like it's nearly 200 bucks, that's a lot of money. But if you love someone, they might be worth the money. So just keep your ears open in case there's something you like. If not, I will be putting out a gift guide video, a proper gift guide video in the next few days. So it's still in time for all of you people that are as unprepared as me and haven't even started your Christmas shopping yet. So make sure you subscribe so you can stick around for that when that comes out. Next thing, while we're still on the topic of knives, I wanna tell you about this tool, which hasn't left my pocket or been switched out at all this year. This is genuinely my most carried item of 2023, and it's the Big Idea Design TPT slide. I did a video about this little tool literally a few weeks ago, basically saying that it is the perfect everyday carry pocket multi-tool. And I stand by that because it really is. You've got utility blade in there for all of your things that you don't want to use your general everyday carry pocket knife for. Made out of titanium, got a bottle opener here, you've got this is like kind of an adjustable, non-adjustable wrench, scraper, prying tool, flathead screwdriver, quarter inch bit driver. It all round is just perfect for what you need as a, an everyday multi-tool. I use this probably more than anything else that I carry. So if you want to know a bit more about it, head over to this video, check it out and just go and buy one because they're honestly, they're like 85 to 140 bucks, depending on which finish you get. I just got a standard one. These generally are about like $90, I think. But you can get a discount because I have a discount code for Big Idea Design. So anything in this video that I show you is going to be linked below for you to go and check out if you want to buy it. There will be discount codes. There will be affiliate links. And there will be just standard links to things that I haven't got an affiliate code or a discount code for. This one, however, you can get 10% off if you use my link and my code. So check that out in the description. Next up. Probably the second most important thing in a man's carry, his wallet. Something on there. 
This is the Lyle Strickland Johnny Wallet Slim. And I came across this earlier this year. I'd obviously known about it for a while, but I just hadn't picked one up. But I decided to pick one of these up earlier this year. For around $35, $40, this is such an insane wallet. The leather is amazing. Patina's great. As you can see, like, it's patina very, very well. Space inside for probably nine cards. Maybe ten at a push. I wouldn't really push it past nine. And then... Nice and simple, flaps at the back, where you can just store a bit of cash. Quartered. Doesn't fit halved. If you want it to fit halved, you have to get the Johnny Wallet, the OG one, that's not slim. But the reason I prefer the slim one is because it's more slimline, it's hardly bigger than a credit card, so it just fits nice and slim in the pocket, and you don't even realise it's there. Now, something that's with me every single day, but not necessarily on my purse, or like in a pocket or anything, is my notebook. I always carry a notebook everywhere I go because I use it for my notes or my to-do list or anything like that because I just don't like putting it on my phone because as soon as I go on my phone to look at a note or a to-do to -do, to -do list, I get distracted. So I thought for anything like that, I'm going to put it into a notebook and then I won't get distracted. I can just look at it be like, right, that's what I need to get done and then I can do it. So I just carry standard field notes books. Come on, you fuck. I carry standard field notes books. These are just the moleskin ones, not actually even field notes because these are cheaper. But they're just great little notebooks to just put your shit in so you know what you're doing. I generally don't even throw them away because I have great information and great ideas that I put into them. And then if I throw it away, I'm going to forget. So I just have like a pile of them somewhere. But field notes books, great little notebooks to carry anywhere. If you don't want to put it in a sleeve like I do, this will fit in your pocket perfectly. And you won't know it's there because I still do that occasionally as well. But the notebook holder that I'm talking to you about today is this can't remember how to say it but it's from my friend chris over at golden Owl supply co i think it's called the theodus or theodus or theodus something like that it's, it's linked below anyway and i put a thing on the screen but this is made handmade by my friend chris out of great leather it's a great great quality leather it smells amazing it's nice and thick nice and durable this has been all over the world with me and i chuck it around i don't look after it it's patinaed really nicely and it just works. I've pretty much solely carried this as my notebook holder for this year. I did use the one from the James brand that I mentioned in one of my last videos, but I do prefer this because it's just a bit less bulky. So, got space on the front for a pen, fits in there nicely, and then you also have a little bit here that you can put cards in, business cards, credit cards, membership cards, whatever you want to put in there. I actually have a membership card for Captain Jack's Cannabis Dispensary in California in there, so <laughs> that's what <laughs> priorities, I guess. Notebook holder. Carry it every day. And while we're on the topic of pens and notebook holders, I do also carry a pen in my pocket at all times. I've tried a few, but the one that I've decided is the perfect pen for me as my everyday carry pocket pen is the Big Idea Design Bolt Action Mini. The material doesn't matter, but this one is the Stonewash Titanium. All of them are going to be the same. They're basically different materials and colours. But this pen is great. I tried the click pens, but I didn't like that the, the, the clicky thing stuck out further than it needed to. So the reason I like the bolt action is because from the top of the clip to the top of the pen, it's maybe like a mil. So when it's in my pocket, right at the back of my pocket, clicked in there you I don't even realize it's there I don't catch my hand on it I don't catch anything on it and it's ready to go whenever I need it nice and smooth action with the bolt action mechanism writes really great obviously big idea design you can use loads of different refills fantastic little nut knife pen and it's always with me a zippo even if you don't smoke they're just a really helpful thing to have on you I have mine with me every single day because they're helpful for lighting fires maybe or just burning threads or just burning things that you need to burn i suppose just always helpful to have on you because it's just such a small little package and a super reliable little lighters most exciting thing now you're excited to hear about my keys you should be because i found the perfect fucking key solution and i don't think i'm going to change it until someone recommends something better jrw tough clip the paper clip of wonders it basically is just a paper clip essentially that you use to store your keys on hooks nice and easy onto your belt because the bottom end here is bent so that kind of when you hook it it like guides the belt loop into the 
the section where it sits when it's hanging from your keys, hanging from your jeans. But on here, I carry my keys, my house keys, so I'm not going to show you what they are, but I carry it on this shackle, this brass shackle that I bought from like Home Depot for maybe three bucks. And I have titanium toothpick from Daily Carry Co. You just unscrew this, turn it around, the toothpick's there, and then screw it back in, and then you can use it as toothpick. And I normally have a big idea design mini pry bar on here, but I lost it. So I don't have it on here. But this is honestly the perfect key solution for me. I love this. I haven't changed this now for months. I got this maybe seven or eight months ago, the JRW Tough Clip, and I haven't switched it out at all since because it is literally perfect for me. And they're not even that expensive. They go for 45 to maybe 60 bucks, depending on which one you get. This is the brass one. This is the cheapest one. I think titanium one is 55 bucks. AirPods, don't really need to say much on them. They just stay in my pocket all the time. Phone calls, meetings, music, you name it. They're always there. Great noise cancellation for when I'm traveling, when I'm on planes and stuff. I can put them on and not listen to everyone fucking moaning on the plane. Mind my own business. They're always with me. And then last, but very much not least, watches. I'm a watch nerd. You guys know it. Or maybe some of you don't, because this might be the first time you watch me. In which case, fucking subscribe, please. Watches, I love watches, I've got loads. But I've hardly worn any this year. Like the watch that sits on my wrist majority of the time at the moment may come as no surprise to you if you've watched my channel for a while, but it is the Breitling Colt. This is honestly such a good daily watch. I know it kind of seems a bit silly that I'm wearing a Breitling as a daily watch, but there's a reason for it. It's quite small, it's only a 38 mil case, it kind of looks fairly discreet. Like I've noticed that when I'm wearing this, I don't really get called out on it like I would if I was wearing a Rolex, unless it's a watch person. Like the general everyday person doesn't notice it as a luxury watch, if you know what I mean. So I like that because it doesn't draw too much of attention to it, but I know it's there, it makes me very happy and it's generally such a comfy watch. I sleep with it on, I'll shower with it on, I'll go swimming with it on, I'll go to the gym with it on, I'll do like I will wear this all the time. And it is sturdy as fuck. But again, it's a Brightland, so it's expensive, so it's not really for everyone. But the other watch that seems to make its way to my wrist more than anything else is this. This is the Carpenter Watches Field Watch. I think that's it. Carpenter sent this out to me a couple of years ago now, and honestly, it's one of my favorite watches in my collection. Really sleek design, really minimalist, automatic movement, looks really, really nice. It does come with a leather strap originally, but I've got this mesh strap on there from about vintage just because I felt the leather, I don't like leather straps, so I just changed it basically, and it looks nicer, I think. So this generally finds its way to my wrist. I would say 75% of the time when I'm not wearing that Brightland at the moment. Um, and it's really nice for, say, like dressing up. If you're going out for a meal, you've got a nice shirt on, stick this on your wrist and you look gangster. These go for around, I think, seven to 800 bucks. Could be 900. So still not cheap, but in the watch world, it's fairly budget and affordable. And that pretty much does it. That is essentially all of my most carried gear for 2023, which means that this is, this is that, 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 that is the end of this video. If you found this useful, drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Is the stuff that I'm carrying good? Do you think I should carry something else? Because this is the stuff that I've found for myself that genuinely makes me happy and makes my life easier on a day-to-day -day basis. But I'm always open to recommendations. So if you think I could do with something else, please leave me a comment and let me know. If you're not subscribed already, then please do so. Stick around, because I've got more videos coming out in the next couple of weeks ready for that Christmas period. Gift guides coming out. My five favorite knives of 2023 is going to be coming out as well. And just some fun shit. So just subscribe, join the community. Let's have some fun. Also get a hat. I wear this a lot. It's mine. Smiley. I'm hungry. I always say that at the end of my videos, I'm gonna go get lunch. Like genuinely, right now, I'm gonna go get some fucking lunch because I'm hungry. So, I'll see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye-bye now.